काव्या क्या हुआ आज आपका क्या हुआ काव्या बर्थडे हुआ वेरी गुड तो जरा गाना भी सुना दो आप Hi guys, I'm Kavya. I am a musician and I do a lot of different other things. But mainly priority one is musician. Then guys, that's complex. I wonder how we get it. <laughs> I'm trying to be like office. That's complex. <laughs> उटफ्टीन मिनट्स and then starting the day is really really key and i like doing household chores because i think that has a lot to do with my mom as a single female parent also known as mapa hi hi i'm sankita trehan yeah mom of khyati trehan and kavya trehan that's nice you don't have any other kids no you just have two daughters lies what about the cats ah oh yeah Mom is acting. Oh, yeah! When she went first day to the school, I think she was four years old. And the first no, I was, was young. I was three and a half. I was young three for my class. Three and a half. Yeah, yeah. All the classmates were there. There were two boys, or I think one boy. And first thing she did, she scared him so much. नहीं नहीं करेगा काम. सच्चे नहीं करेगा. जो मैं बोली नहीं देगा. अच्छा. करता है कि नहीं करता. Mama, <laughs> this is you. This is from Bombay. <laughs> Yeah. Has that been like a scary experience as a single mother for you? No, not at all. I think that was something natural, and I really loved. And because they've gone to a school which is Mirambika, and it really blossomed their uh, inner spirits. And and it's music is always associated with nature, with your own self expressions. And I think I was very happy. That's the way they express their feelings, express their. There's a harmony. Everything is so balanced. So it was fantastic for me. I mean, I think we were, have always been really artistic, right? Yeah, a very serious mother nods at the back. I mean, obviously, it's like a weird, uh, weird thought, but I've always wanted to have an exhibition because I thought the idea of an exhibition is really fun. But I don't think this qualifies for exhibition art, unless, of course, you guys want to bid on it. Originals by Kavya, and that one's with Kathy though. Small choice. I'm super influenced by my surroundings. Like, I'm absolutely transparent and completely naked when it comes to just how much my surroundings impacts me on a daily basis. And I do jump from one place to the other. so i make sure that everything in both the places makes me feel um almost like comforted like in a hug months when you started uh, humming yeah uh, hindi song, song that was goi goi gal mai kya karu that's how you started mm -hmm. and then every time whenever we used to go for shopping or anywhere out you used to listen to music you would not bother you would just stand there and tap your steps and start singing dancing like a free bird <laughs> The 
the kind of music I make is very, very emotional. It has nothing to do with being expi- inspired by crazy experiences. It's just how do I find the mundane, extremely poetic? Yeah, that's where my inspiration lies, I think. Family is damn important, man. I mean, I just have like three women. No, plus two cats, female cats. Five women that I'm that is my family. So they've been really supportive, especially when you're doing something like music and you don't know, like uncertainty and being an artist is like, right? So having their support has actually managed me to um, not look at challenges in a very negative way, but look at it as something that you can solve in your own wacko manner. I'm Kavya's sister. My sister is best. She's very talented. And um, I design album covers for her. That's my professional description. I like her. She is my favorite person. That's who I am. <laughs> I am defined by my sister. While someone might see just colors, shapes, and shades or light, I actually see a whole lot of emotions, a whole lot of communication that can actually take place with just one image. And I feel that gives a whole lot more of a... It gives a more holistic idea of what I am trying to communicate with my music plus the visual identity associated with it. Visual identity is, it manages to engage one more sense apart from your ears. It manages to engage sight and it just helps augment the piece that you've already made. It can also help um, create, it can help people remember the piece in a different way, like by the visual. And in that way, it acts a bit like photographic memory uh, for, it, for a piece of music. The process of making visuals for Kavya is quite easy. It's It doesn't feel like a project because I already know what she's developing. I understand her music and and I can grasp the kind of feeling that I need to impart in the same visual. So if making a piece for Kavya is more like just jamming on my computer or with her on, or on a sketchbook. I have always had a really amazing relationship with my sister because I think I'm just in awe of how she's able to see things from a very different perspective than me and I think her being so incredibly skilled, working really hard and always creating some new visual medium to uh, express herself I guess has been the reason why I've been really conscious about how I want to represent myself visually as well. And it's just a cherry on top that I have someone like an in-house talent to help me translate the ideas that I get in my mind to what they are with my sister. What I enjoy most by working with her is that it doesn't feel like work. Like there's no client I need to please, even though she's the client, but I don't need to please her. I can do whatever I want. And... Um, I, I mean, I do work with her to understand the piece and try to do what will be the best for her. But there's so much more freedom and it feels relaxed and organic. To be honest, music isn't the kind of thing that I knew was ever going to fill my pockets or anything. I just wanted to meet really cool people and express myself really well and get to work with amazing people like yourselves. So that's damn cool. Um, yeah, that was hard on heart, Kavya.
Yeah, we're really professional in here. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like being sassy. I really wanted to be cool. Like, hey guys, I'm Kavya and I'm really thirsty. So I'm going to have a Jimmy's cocktails and we're going to do whiskey sour right now. Cheers. Mm. It's really good. I mean, it's the virgin version. Because I don't drink before I perform. But that's yum.
try to let me go When you call me up and I don't pick up, you know You gotta let me go When you think of me and I'm not there You gotta let me go You know that I'm not shy You gotta let me go You gotta You gotta let me go You gotta Bye. 
Hi, I'm Sangeeta Trehan. Now you're going to listen to my favorite track by Kavya underscore. So the next track is really important because it centers me. It's also the first track I ever made on Ableton. It's a track called Stolen Games.
don't I know why that means Hope that you won't break down by the line Oh, oh the silent whispers come to fire Makes me happy, it makes me really happy. One of the songs where you would rather sing than talk about an issue. This one. And I try to talk. And I know. when I sang instead of talking to someone. The next song is a song called Quinn. It's my recent release, um, my recent single. It always gets me super nervous because it's an honest 
song and honest songs can be really um, tough very personal I'm sorry for being late I kind of forgot what time it was
They 
been scary and pleasant too And now I wonder, where am I? That's just why I'm not here That's just why I am That's just why I am here When you sit down with a piece of paper, write your thoughts down When you feel a little heavy, feel a little light, write it down When you sit down with a piece of paper, write your thoughts down When you feel a little heavy, feel a little light, an hour down I know my mind is always going places and I try Ooh. All I wanna do is keep my eyes shut Ooh. All I wanna do is keep my eyes shut Why do we always want the same things? Why? Same games, oh, and why do I always want to go back? Why do I never really learn? Why am I, am I always losing track? Oh, am I a winner? Is keep my eyes shut. Ooh. All I wanna do All is I keep wanna. my eyes shut. All I need is kisses, a gentle little touch. I've always been somebody else for you, but I don't know that much. Oh. I don't know that much 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 I don't know that much
shit, I just haven't sang for so long. Uh, I feel like I went off in so many places, but that's okay. My cat came to the window and she was like, but wow, it feels really exhausting to sing after a very long time. Uh, but it feels really good. It's like that good kind of exhausting where you know you're going to fall asleep really well. Like the butter chicken types. Oh, butter paneer. <laughs> But uh, shit, I've really missed it. I know a lot of my artist friends have missed this a lot. And I really hope that we're able to go on tour and perform and develop our sets and make it look like urban jungles and like walk around and feel really happy touching all of our gear and like creating music because that's what it's all about, right? I used to collect footage from different festivals that I used to attend and just nature and places I used to travel and I used to stitch them together with uh, sneaky demos as the soundtrack and I feel just looking back at them makes me wonder how how much fun the future is going to be because I come from a really DIY space but now that I do have people joining me in the team it'll all become really legitimate and I'm really excited for that. And now we have Anisha. So I always knew who Kavya Trehan was, but uh, officially we got talking just after her collaboration with Tarun Balani on Let the Light In. I was uh, trying to explore new things in music, considering touring was on hold during lockdown and she had a single release coming up. So we decided to work on a one-off project where my contribution was mainly pertaining to the marketing and PR of Quinn. And little did we both know that we would um, get along so well. I definitely felt we were on the same wavelength and hence I proposed to take this relationship to the next step and she said yes. Long story short, I saw Anisha's name everywhere. Years later, I worked on a track with Tarun Balani for Let the Light In and now uh, I've gravitated towards yet another woman and now I have this amazing palace of women that help me, support me and let me do what the hell I want to do. So, um, Kavya and I are strong visualizers and we see ourselves doing everything that the artists who inspire her do. International collaborations, touring the world, getting a solid team in place but not rushing it, creating everything inside out so that we can end up becoming one core unit. It's been an absolute pleasure to work with a fellow woman in music. Kavya's commitment and discipline to her work and her compassionate nature really inspires me to do more. She's been a great lockdown silver lining. So what does the future look like? Making more content with my sister, Khyati, making sure that Anisha and I are packing our bags and leaving for international tours. And we have Shitej who is with us, making lots and lots of content. And Anhad and I that are just in the middle of wrapping up our EP, which is so many international collaborations and really production heavy performances and there's just a lot that we've been working on and I really can't wait to share it with everyone. Whew. Yep. I just want to like sleep now. What I have to do this. <laughs> you know like after the gig you get done and then you just want to like relax but you can't because you have all these wires. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Shitaj. Hi. <laughs> and it's a wrap.